Hello, my name is Paul Adams from SoftEast, and in this video, we're going to be looking at model based definition or MBD as it is commonly referred to. Now, if you're looking to follow the latest trend in paperless manufacturing or how you can even produce a product without going into 2D drawings, this video is for you. So let's have a look at what we're going to be covering. So just so we know what's going to be happening in the presentation, here's a quick table of contents. So what is model based definition? So model based definition in CAD. Now model based definition or commonly referred to as MDB, like I said, is a way of presenting drafting information in 3D models instead of creating the conventional 2D drawings. The information that can be included in MDB models is dimensions, tolerances, geometric dimensions and tolerances or GD and T information, surface finish information, datum features and reference planes, and general notes. So let's have a look at comparing model based definition versus 2D drawings. So model based definition can totally replace 2D drawings. All the required manufacturing information can be added to the 3D CAD model. This includes material information, manufacturing information and inspection requirements. All this information in the 3D model is referred to as product and manufacturing information or commonly referred to as PMI. Now below here we have a typical 2D drawing. So this image shows a model of a traditional 2D drawing format using the 3D annotation. On the right here, we have the more efficient MBD approach. Note that the center lines and basic dimensions are not used, saving significant time and clutter. With either method, features attached to annotation highlight when the annotation is selected. So let's have a look at some of the disadvantages of manufacturing in 2D. The disadvantages of using paper, 2D engineering drawings for manufacturing range from additional time, resources and cost requirements, to inconsistent quality, elevated levels of scrap or rework, and non-compliance with emerging industry standard issues. So the 2D drawing creation adds time. Generating and detailing 2D engineering drawings adds lengthy steps to the manufacturing preparation process that ultimately slows time to market. Although 3D CAD programs automate some of the tasks required to produce 2D engineering drawings, additional time is required whenever design changes need to be made or to facilitate the handling of engineering change orders or ECOs. Printing, distributing, updating, and maintaining the plethora of 2D engineering drawings creates over the course of several production cycles in both time and labor intensive. 2D creates potential quality issues. Not only are 2D drawings often difficult to understand and easy to misinterpret, they don't always match their associated 3D designs. Studies show that this disconnect occurs up to 60% of the time, resulting in massive downstream production failures, inconsistent quality and unnecessary waste. Let's switch over to the advantages of drawingless manufacture. Incorporating a model based definition manufacturing approach is a smoother transition with a faster return on investment or ROI than migrating from 2D to 3D for design. 3D is simply clearer and easier to understand and it's more efficient to generate and utilize MBD information for production. 
Even further, with the help of digital devices, instead of shuffling through stacks of paper prints, production personnel can access product and manufacturing information, or this PMI, electronically and actually see the part to be manufactured or the product to be assembled in 3D. Bring products to market faster. Because model-based definition eliminates the need to generate 2D engineering drawings for production and reduces the time and effort required to repeatedly clarify confusing 2D drawings and to provide detailed product and manufacturing information data by calling out only critical dimensions and querying models for the rest, it can help manufacturers shorten production cycles and accelerate time to market. Model-based definition production also accelerates the handling of engineering change orders, or ECOs, when design changes are made after a part or product is released to manufacturing, because the change to the model will automatically update all of the associated product and manufacturing information in one master model rather than across multiple disconnected documents. Reduce production costs. Drawingless model-based definition production enables reductions in manufacturing costs. Some of the cost savings are obvious, such as labor cost reductions associated with 2D detailing and the expenses related to printing and maintaining drawings, including printing, plotting, and paper expenses if digital devices are fully implemented. Other savings come in the form of improved quality, resulting in less scrap or rework and fewer warranty claims and returns. Model-based definition also lowers the overall sustainment costs of a product over its entire life cycle by providing an easily accessible digital thread of manufacturing information for years to come. Improving quality. Model-based definition addresses the limitations of 2D drawings that can lead to inconsistent quality by providing fast access to detailed 3D views containing all of the necessary product and manufacturing information for manufacturing parts or assembling them into a product. Model-based definition production minimizes the misinterpretations and surprises that can result in errors, defects, and field failures. Standards for MBD. Applicable standards include ASME Y14.41-2012, which is the Digital Product Definition Data Practices, the ISO 16792, the DIN ISO 16792, and the GB4-T24734. Now, the United States Department of Defense released the MIL standard 31000 revision A to codify the use of MBD as a requirement for technical data packages. So don't forget to check out our other video series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. For more specialized information, visit our materials and process page in the Learning Center. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams, and I shall see you in the next video series.